Hi. Today, I'll be uh, doing a short review on this uh, product right here. This is a Kelly Kettle. Um, it's an Irish product, and what it is, is basically an oven. This is it. It's uh, an oven and also a container, all rolled into one. Now, the genius part of uh, this whole thing is you can boil water, but you can also heat whatever you put on top here all at once. So you can, say, boil uh, this liter of water. Uh, this contains about a liter of water. But you can also have a frying pan on top, boil your eggs, uh, fried bacon, whatever, heat, whatever kind of food you got. Um, it sort of works as a heat source as well. Of course, it's not going to be as uh, good as a fire. Um, but it's uh, it's very uh, sparing on, on your wood so you definitely don't need a lot of fuel to have this going now this is pre-stuffed um, it's got birch bark and dry grass here down here in the base I'm also I've, I've uh, put uh, layers of uh, twigs down at the bottom and this is all so this whole thing is hollow and it's stuffed as you can see it's stuffed with twigs down here now uh, you can also see it's full of water and uh, now that I uh, I have everything ready um, you just take it out of your pack take it out of your pack and um, light it and we'll see how fast it is You can see it immediately starts smoking on top. Um, if I've done a bad job at the stuffing it, it won't be very efficient, but uh, I don't think that will be a problem. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll move the camera around a bit. You can see. You can see it going down here at the base. Definitely smoking quite a bit on top. Yeah, we've got flames coming through here on the top now. Now bear in mind, this is all just dried twigs. Um, I just broke them off uh, on my last stop and they've just been sitting in this oven. Um, and it's working beautifully. Now, just use one match, and yep, now we got flames coming through. Now we could easily put these guys in place in the center. Do that just for just for show. And uh, with them, of course, you could put your pans and pots on top here. Um, also brought this. This is also um, a bit of fuel that I brought with me. Uh, it's spruce, dried spruce, and it's just one, one, one small piece. This should be more than sufficient for any meal uh, using this oven. Now I'm going to chop some of these up and uh, stuff them in. Stuff them down as well. They should help keep it going. The water is actually starting to heat up quite nicely. Of course you can add fuel from the top like I have been doing or you can add it down below, um, down here. Both things work just fine. See how uh, efficient this is when you uh, turn it facing the wind, making sure that the wind goes in through this um, hole down here at the base. 
then it will propel through the entire oven in going out of the chimney, uh, making sure there is uh, adequate airflow and um, even distribution of heat. Adding fuel in the bottom. We'll keep it burning and notice that I'm using just small twigs really to keep it going. A couple of branches is all you really need. I'm also adding fuel here at the top. Um, if you have a pot on, that will make it a bit more difficult. And then you can just use the hole in the base. Now the water is boiling. So, another really smart detail on this is the way that you can pour the water. Um, it would be a bit clumsy if they hadn't added this little detail. Now, you might think that seeing as this is an oven, taking it off and holding your hand over it is not a very good idea because it's very, very warm indeed. Now, the genius is that when you take it off, the oven part of it kind of stays behind and you're left with just this part, which is the container. Now, this is hollow on the inside, and it's really just an oven as long as you have it situated on top of the base. Now that the base is here, we can just move that, and uh, the fire is um, just going to die down by itself, and you can pour the water. Pouring the water is just as easy as taking it off the fire. All you need to do is hold the handle and pull the lanyard, the metal lanyard, and it will start pouring in a very controlled fashion. As you can see, it contains quite a bit of water. And once it's empty, now we can have a closer look at the oven. In the front, this is where the uh, water goes in, and this has a rubber seal. It's important that you take that off before you uh, ignite the oven. Um, if I tilt it, maybe this way, you can see that it's hollow, making for a perfect airflow through it. And the top part, this part right here has uh, the inside container, or a liner if you will, uh, of an extra compartment that holds the water. Now seeing as it's um, evenly distri distributed all the way around, uh, that makes for a wonderful surface area. So the entire uh, tank that holds the water is exposed. As, or, as opposed to just a small part of it to the flames. So it heats up really fast. Uh, at the same time, it allows for airflow. Here are our little helpers for adding the pots and pans. Now you can see the uh, slots that fit into one another, making for a pretty good base. This is fairly, you know, fairly stable and uh, returned around. Here's the base of the oven. Um, it's still going pretty strong. So what you can see is you have a very, very good, good uh, base of embers, uh, and it's large enough to allow for that. Um, that's important to, uh, to keep the heat at uh, a base minimum, I guess. Uh, and uh, then it's fairly easy to adjust the heat by adding or uh, removing fuel. So I guess that kind of uh, concludes the video on the uh, oven. Now this was uh, just taken off about three minutes ago and it's already cooled down to the point where I can just handle it like this. The same goes for the base. Now this is still kind of hot but um, this was emptied maybe a minute and a half ago and it's already cooled down enough so that I can handle it as well. So that's really amazing. Um, same goes for the top. So, 
Now, a uh, quick assembly. You would have your base layer. Into this, I would put twigs, just layer upon layer until it evens out about yay high. Once you got your base layer figured out, you would want to put this on top. Uh, if you're carrying it with you, uh, of course you can uh, you can save some room by putting uh, the water into it. Seeing uh, you know the tank's already there, it's taking up space, so you can you might as well fill it with water um, and then seal it up with the lid. Um, then you put dry twigs down into this. Um, these you just carry on the side, and then you can either put your uh, ign ignition tinder, uh, birch bark, dry grasses, whatever in here if you want to, or you can have it with you. But it's nice to have a, a nice dry piece of, of starter for the oven. And that's pretty much it. If you don't want to keep it, um, you know, ready stacked for fire, you might as well put other stuff in here. I mean, you can have foodstuffs um, in here easily. It's fairly spacious. Uh, so you could probably fit a lot of stuff in here if you want to. But it's nice to have uh, have it readily uh, made so that it's it's just to put put a match to it and then go. Um, didn't use much of this. Uh, if I wanted to, I could have used more, of course, uh, and that would have probably sped up the process a bit. But all in all, I'd say boiled that liter of water in maybe seven or eight minutes, which is uh, kind of slow really for this. Uh, I've uh, seen it do it faster, um, but the fuel that you put in will also decide, you know, for the results that you get. So, all in all, this is a great product. Uh, I've been using it now for a short while. I'll definitely continue to use it. And I can uh, recommend it to anyone interested in uh, uh, just less hassle, really. You don't have to have that much with you. You don't have to carry as much stuff with you. So get your hands on one of these, and uh, I don't think you'll regret it one day. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, please share, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day.